breaking news welcome to today's headlines umayi orders arrest of ebobe agu operatives who tortured killed man in eboin umayi orders arrest of ebobe agu operatives who tortured killed man in eboin to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from stay tuned as i read today's news eboin state governor david umai has directed the arrest of those involved in the torture of late una ongo haim with an axe Umayi stated this when he paid an on-the-spot visit to Akeze in Evo local government area of the state to assess the level of carnage in the area following a violent protest that destroyed properties worth millions of naira by angry youth in the area. Akeze police station was said also a blaze alongside the properties of the chairman of evil local government area and development center coordinator recall that i was arrested by the men of ebube ago security network attached to evil local government over an alleged robbery but died at the hospital following alleged torture by the operatives. Humayi also directed the immediate demobilization of all gun-carrying non-security persons in the area and urged the security personnel to step up security presence and surveillance to avert reoccurrence. He then called on Heboin youth to shun involvement in criminalities and embrace peace for orderliness in the society. He said, I feel so sad over the couple of incidences that happened in this place. In the first place, I condemned the viral video that was making round where somebody was using an axe on a fellow human being. My position is that life is life is sacred, and all those people that did that, whether they are in government, whether they are Bubiago, whether they are stakeholders, must must be prosecuted immediately. In case you missed this from, there is no reason in this matter that should warrant anybody to take law into their hand. At the end of time, we are going to be accountable to God. It is important to note that Ebube Agul is a security outfit backed by law and it will not be disbanded by any Ebube Agu member that violates the law will go in for heat. The law on Ebube Agu is very clear. Just like there are bad elements in other security forces and within this society, there may be bad eggs in Ebube Agu. But my position is that the bad eggs in Ebube Agu must be identified and removed. Ebube Agu is doing very beautiful work. They are helping the peop- they are helping the police. They are helping the army. But we have a procedure. When you have the right within the limit of the law to arrest people you have to hand them over to the police immediately and it stops there 
you are not even permitted to torture them not to talk of killing them but you have the right of self-defense and the evidence must be there and overwhelmingly and so what happened here did not make me happy two wrongs must never make a right the seven people that masterminded this must be arrested and prosecuted i am not the governor of one party i am the governor of all parties and most importantly i am accountable to god let me warn all the youths to be very careful about taking laws into their hands if they commit a murder case and it is brought before me i will sign their execution meanwhile the officer in charge of akese police station asp john okereke while narrating the event of the burning down of the police station said some of the perpetrators are hardened criminals who already had cases in the station Ebony State Governor David Umai has directed the arrest of those involved in the torture of late Unnaogo Haim with an axe. Umai stated this when he paid an on-the-spot visit to Akeze in Ivo local government area of the state to assess the level of carnage in the area following a violent protest that destroyed properties worth millions of naira by angry youths in the area akeze police station was set also ablaze alongside the properties of the chairman of ivo local government area and development center coordinator Recall that Haim was arrested by the men of Ebubi Ago Security Network attached to evil local government over an alleged robbery but died at the hospital following alleged torture by the operatives. Umayi also directed the immediate demobilization of all gun carrying non security persons in the area and urged the security personnel to step up security presence and surveillance to avert reoccurrence he then called on a boy youth to shun involvement in criminalities and embrace peace for orderliness in the society to my dear listeners now we've come to the end of our today's news please do drop by at the comment section and let's know what your view is all about thank you for listening